I've been, um, I wasn't even aware that there was such a thing as channeling until I met Max, actually. So, um, one day we were, I was raking Max, because we have a weekly appointment for Reiki. And I said, I feel like we're not alone. And he went, oh, hmm. Because, you know, when you're in a Reiki state, you're sort of relaxed and you're like that. Not really thinking too much. You're sort of enjoying the treatment. And I said, a few minutes later, I said, is it aliens? And I was sort of being facetious, but he sort of said yes. So, several weeks after that, they started teaching me different Reiki methods that I had never known before. So, it was like, while I was raking Max, there was voices in my head going, do this, now do this, now breathe, when you breathe, make sure you breathe up through your chakras and out through the crown and make sure that your heartbeat is in, in time with the pulsing of your hands and the energy going into the body and several different things of that nature which were just foreign to me at that time because I had only been doing Reiki for about a year at that time and they were getting in touch with me so I told Max about that and I think it was the week or maybe even the week after that he started asking them questions he said would you mind if I asked him questions something like that I'm not sure what he's actually said but they started answering and the first thing I said you know I'm applying to visit you <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they gave him some tests. I'll interrupt you for a second. Uh, Lakesh said somebody else will talk also. So they arranged that not only Lakesh speaks today. Oh. Go ahead. I don't know who. I don't know. They, they do the arrangement. They don't notify me ahead of time. They just ask if they can come in. Um, and they only allow, I have a guardian that only allows good, positive, white light spirits, god like spirits, or or entities to enter. If they are not of the light, then they cannot enter. Because the name of my guardian is Fission, like went Fission, but that's his name, and he guards against anyone that might try to harm me. So that was put in place after someone tried to harm me once. So, um, how did they let you know that they wanted to start channeling through? You? They really didn't let me know. He just said, can I ask him a question? Oh. And I said, sure. If they answer you, that's great, you know? So I actually gave them permission at that moment to channel through me. And when he started asking questions, just they just started talking. It was the first person that talked, first alien talk, was Dizdu. And he, was, he is in the saucer that's around the earth right now. Lakesh didn't come till later, but he's more colorful in many ways. <laughs> he says more. He is more... He is from a planet that's very neutral, whereas Dee's Do and the others are from uh, an alliance, and so they have lots of secrets that they're not allowed to, to divulge. It's a very big bureaucracy. So where uh, Lakesh is from, he's pretty much allowed to say what's on his mind, except he's not allowed to divulge any of their secrets. So that's where what it comes down to in the long run. They stop him if he's going to divulge anything, but they trust him pretty much. So um, what I mean by pretty much is they do stop him sometimes. And yeah. he'll be in the middle of saying something, and all of a sudden it'll be like, gone. So we've had that happen a couple times. So... We had an angel visiting. I love the angel speak. Angel is amazing. Um, he, he, angels are, come through Jim much easier. Human spirits don't come very well. The, Jim doesn't feel good. Human spirits are different. I, I do better with Native American spirits than I do with regular average spirits. For some reason, they come through better. But um, I... That's all I can say. I really don't know why. But when uh, regular spirits try to come in, it seems very difficult. It's like we're not on the same wavelength or something. It's like uh, it's, it's very uh, confused at times and very soft-spoken at times. I think you were saying it didn't 
if you listen to the recordings, he records every one of our uh, channeling sessions. So yeah. some of it comes through really Our friends, they, they, so I have a recording on the phone, and sometimes if something went through that they don't like, you know, that the lines, they go to my phone and make the file blank. The file is still there, but it's blank. I mean, they don't leave many, many proofs, but, you know, that's one of the proofs I have. You know, yes. if, if there was a crisis at some point up there, you know, just panic, more like than crisis, panic. Mm -hmm. And it went through the channeling, and no surprise later, you know, it was black. They do happen to erase some of our recordings, as he found out. Especially if you know, there was an emergency and they had to leave, and they don't want anybody to know that there's an emergency or any proof that there was an emergency. Uh -huh. And um, one of the things that they do work on are the weather. They help maintain our weather so that it's not as destructive because there's too many things going on right now on Earth that are causing the weather to be really bad. We have very high seismic, uh, seismographic things like the thing over in Japan, which actually knocked our um, axis off a little bit. Mm -hmm. And also, it's changing the weather, and so they're here to help us get to the next level, is basically what they're doing. They are um, saving humanity because the, every now and then the earth flips over. Did you know that? Every, every now and then? Yeah, the there's been, they do. They, the yeah, they flip. They, nobody notices. It just happens. <laughs> but <yeah. laughs> but um, when it flips over the big flip from one side to the other, um, the whatever is alive perishes on our planet. So they want to keep us alive because we're closer now, humanity-wise, than ever before to becoming part of the galaxy becoming part of their communication system and alliances, if we want to become part of that. So this is, um, Earth is under a lot of interest to them right now. A lot of different species are interested in Earth because we're at the next stage of our evolution. Have you noticed that Reiki is becoming more popular? Have you noticed that the Far Eastern uh, mystical religions are becoming more popular? Have you noticed that energy is stronger. This is part of human evolution, is that we live in this uh, magnetic field for so long, we're coming, becoming part of it. You know, our energies are becoming part of a different kind of energy. So we are being elevated, and it's called the Ascension. And I know you've heard about it, and I know some people say, oh, it never started, I was so disappointed. Don't be disappointed, it started. And it started when it was supposed to. The reason why you don't know about it is because it starts really, really small. When you take a beam of light from a flashlight or something and show it out, it comes out like this, right? This is how the ascension is starting with the beam, uh, like a small molecule of light. And as it moves, it brings more people into it. Do you know what I understand? It, that's the way it's going to happen. It's not going to zap the world and they're all going to be enlightened. It, we are the beginnings of it and we have to uh, be responsible for that because we have to uh, bring other people with us. What he suggested is that we knit ourselves together individually as a group of enlightened people and bring each other up when they're down. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, as we lift each other up, we get higher vibrations. And so we need to keep that moving. That, that positive movement will gather people. And, and you will see that your intention on learning who your friends are and what their light is made of will bring them into a closer bond with you and then you'll be able to lift them up as well. So. Uh, that's just one of the things he was teaching us. But now, I'm going to let them talk. So, if you would uh, put yourself in the white light for me. I mean, all positive intentions, godly thoughts, nothing negative, please. That really interferes. But, um, and that I'll do a little concentration, hopefully. We'll see who comes. And 
I pray someone will. But um, I feel a lot of great energy here, so I, I know that they're attracted to that. So where I'm sitting is just phenomenal. This is just this phenomenal spot. Just I can feel it coming up through my feet. So it's wonderful. So let's just keep an open mind, keep a positive attitude, think about the light or positive things, and I will do a little concentration and a little breathing.